What if you want to send two transactions to two different smart contracts and make sure that if either of them fail, the other one fail too? In other words, you want to group these transactions together. Are you going to use Web3 and send two transactions? Uh -uh. It's not going to work. The solution is on chain in another smart contract and I'm going to show you this in this video. Hey, I'm Julian and on my channel Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development and solidity. In this example, we want to call the foo function of contract A and the bar function of contract B and group these two transactions together. So we are going to call these two functions from another smart contract. So let's create it. And we're going to create a function that's going to call these two other function. This function is going to accept two arguments that it's going to forward to these two other functions foo and bar. And in the body of our function, we're going to execute these two other functions. First, we create a reference to the smart contract A. So you need to know the address already. And you call the foo function, you forward the argument. And you do the same thing for the contract B. And boom, you have grouped these two transactions. Either both the function called to foo and bar succeed, or if either of them fail, the whole thing is going to be canceled because they are grouped inside our group execute function. If you want to learn other cool solidity tricks, I have a playlist full of them, so I'll see you there.